Have you ever made a change to your computer, such as installing an update, new drivers, etc., and wish that you could undo those changes? Well, you can by using the System Restore options in Windows 10. Keep in mind, though, System Restore affects programs only and not documents, so it will not recover lost or overwritten documents, pictures, etc. So please make sure that you have a regular backup in place. Now, what I would recommend before you do any updates is to create a restore point manually to make sure that you are covered. As with most things in Windows 10, there are several ways to access your programs. My preferred method is simply click on the Windows key or click on the start in the bottom left hand corner and begin by typing restore. When you see the option here, create a restore point come up, just click on it. This will open up your system properties and bring you straight to the system protection tab. As you can see on mine, the drive C is turned off and on some computers, this is automatically turned off. So make sure you check your computer to make sure restore points are turned on. Any other drive typically is not needed unless you install programs on those drives. So there's no need to turn it on for any additional drives. Click on configure, turn your system protection on at the top here. Your maximum usage would depend on your hard drive space that you have. I would recommend between 20 to 30 gigabytes of space for system restore points, because this will cover you for the 90 days that Microsoft automatically deletes old restore points with. And with 90 days, you definitely can go back a fair bit of time to do a system restore. So once you have this set, click on apply and OK. Now that we've turned it on, let's create our first restore point. At the bottom here, click on create. The restore point, name it what you want. I usually differentiate what I'm doing based on which computer I'm on or which user I'm logged on with so that I know and have a better idea of when that restore point was created. So in this case, I'll just name it restore point March 02, 2021. Now it's creating the restore point automatically for me. Typically, Windows 10 should create a system restore point when it does its updates, patches, etc. But I've found from experience that this is not always the case. So definitely run these manually yourself. Or the next option is you can schedule a system restore point to be created every other day or once a week. Generally, I wouldn't recommend more than once a week. So to schedule it, again, click on your start button in the bottom left hand corner or press the Windows key on your keyboard and start typing task scheduler. Pop it up on your screen here and under action, create a task. The name you want to give it, again, name it what you want so that it makes sense to you. And in this case, I'm going to call it Steve Scheduled Restore Point. So I know that when I look at the list, I'll know which one I'm using. Now that we've got that set, the next thing to click on here is at the very bottom, you want to check off run whether the user is logged on or not. So make sure that's checked off and also run with the highest privileges. Click over onto the Triggers tab, click on New, and this is where you specify your time frame. I would normally only run this uh, once a week on maybe Sunday morning. So Sunday morning at 2 a.m. Let's just set the time to 2 a.m. on Sunday morning. Now, if you wanted to do more restore points like Sunday and Wednesday, by, by all means, check that off in this box. But generally speaking, you shouldn't really need to do that. Click on OK. Now, here's the important part in the Actions tab. Click on Actions, New. And the actual program that we're going to be running is PowerShell.exe. The big part is the Arguments tab right here. I've got this huge long command, which I'll paste in the comments field below that you can mod paste into here. And basically all you have to do is copy this command out and put it in here, click on OK. Conditions, generally we can leave that as it is. Same thing with settings. There's no need to change any of these other options in here. Click on OK. And because we selected to run whether users logged on or not, it needs your username and password. So type in the password that you've set up on your account. And you'll see that there was my task now called Steve Schedule Restore Point is scheduled to run every Sunday starting uh, this coming or starting today, basically. So let's run this. Right click on it and go run. So we'll have a restore point created right now. If we go back into the restore options, click on System Restore. Next. 
And there we go. We can see the restore point that I just created. And because I named it appropriately, I know exactly when it was created and how it was created. And it was a manual task. So in other words, it was created by my scheduled task. That way you know when you can roll back to if you have any issues with your computer. Cancel that out because we don't need to restore it at this point. So anytime, like I said before, anytime you want to do an update or you're going to do a major change on your computer, please come in here and create a restore point to protect yourself. You'll be so happy you did later on. When you go to run Windows 10 from startup, you select the recovery options and you have to use a system restore point. There have been many, many instances where I've had to go into a computer and there are no restore points to recover from. So basically, we have to reload Windows from scratch. Hopefully, this has been of help to you. If it has, by all means, do give us a thumbs up at the bottom. Thanks so much. Have yourselves a fantastic day.